Okay, so apparently somebody wants to meet me really bad in Tillamook, and they've sent me a lot of threatening types of uh, emails and even an SMS message yesterday that has to do with, uh, oh, you know, oh, I hope you don't accidentally kill yourself with your straps or something like that. Actually, I can get the, the exact wordage. It's from a guy called... Um, um, their email is called Fist Pump Lies. Alright, and let me get to the old messages. This message system is so messed up. There it is. Okay. Be careful wandering the streets. I hear about people being run over all the time. And then he makes reference to Sugar Night. Um, and then also, be careful with those straps you could easily kill yourself by accident and it might look like you hung yourself or broke your own neck on purpose <laughs> it's just unbelievable so this, this is a, a good reason why I can't disclose where I'm at I can make blogs kinda like what Osama Bin Laden did but I can't say where I'm at now I can't like show off places at least I can't show them off for a good month or two after I've been there. If there's some place I really liked and wanted to record, I want to hold off on um, showing it for a while. Just kind of put it in private or something. I can make daily vlogs just on my thoughts of the situation, but uh, that's about it. I will say I'm a, I'm a little uh, concerned. All right, I I definitely fled Tillamook. And, and it was just uh, a combination of um, leaving it because of the, the locals getting irate at me and then also the, um, the threats and stuff. I mean, I'm, it really sounded like somebody was on their way over, and it sounds like they're there now. Um, I don't know. They're, they're, it's probably, you know, they're probably staying in a motel or something like that. I don't know what they're what they're doing but I, I have to give it time I have to give them plenty of time to uh, to let their let their uh, situation develop so I can get a better picture of what's actually going on okay I, I need to need to keep a distance and just kinda watch see if they want to communicate more I don't even know why they bother communicating it would have been easily easy just to shut up and, and uh, do what they wanted to do but instead they wanted to issue all kinds of threats first and and then uh, see what kind of reactions they can get from me and that just gives me a heads up pretty much so now I'm just kind of uh, um, you know, waited out in, in another city or two and then see what happens but I don't know, you know, it's, it's, I'm a little paranoid about uh, it being just more than one person. I mean, when they, when they can gather three separate incidences against me, uh, two baby boomers and then one millennial, just to, with the, their, their strong reactions against me, um, or at least, at least they're taking credit. They're like ISIS or, or uh, that other, that other Al Qaeda just taking credit for everything I how do I confirm that you know it really was them uh, cause causing uh, people to get uh, like aggressive with me they're just you know I, I talked about it and then all of a sudden you know I get an email saying oh that was us we're we're promoting that you're uh, you're, you're doing bad things with children so that's why people are acting all aggressive with you I I, I kind of believe it you know there's there's a lot of uh, crazy things that happen on the internet a lot of unique situations um, and w when money is involved it, uh, it can get a little crazy people may see like a future potential with uh, some of these this, with this you know I mean I, I enjoy it I, I see a future with you now um, and some people may see a bigger future by trying to control how the, the information is uh, put out there by certain stars or something. Uh, but yeah, either way, I, it's it's possible there's more than one person who's uh, 
uh, you know, why would one, only one person want to want to work with uh, trying to track me? I think I think there's probably more than one, so I'm, it it uh, has me a little more concerned, and I want to um, be a little more careful about uh, the places um, that I that I frequent. Um, I think it'd take more than one person to to kill me. So they they would uh, you know I'd, I'd probably get a little heads up if there's somebody acting a little suspicious, like they're trailing me or something. But that's you know that you know they'd, they'd probably communicate. I don't know whatever you see in the movies, that, that's probably how it works. Um, but as long as I don't disclose my location and just keep moving as as much as my gas allows me to. I think I should probably stick with places that I know, like uh, Northern Oregon and, and Washington, um, and probably bigger cities, maybe small towns. I don't know. Just just as long as I'm 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 gonna have to get away from the coast uh, because then I'll have uh, four you know northwest, south, east directions I can travel at any time. You know, whereas along the coast I'm a little limited uh, heading anywhere further west in case there's trouble so I want to I want to be more in the landmass a little bit safer I think um, and just mix in with the people and uh, just just lie low I guess or just make make sure I don't disclose my location um, and, and go with that um, it's it's like you know it's not that much not completely different from uh, just having to find uh, hiding spots to sleep at night in particular cities. All right, that's always a challenge. I got to really get out there and, and walk around and get familiar with the place, so I could see where where there's uh, good potential places to park my car overnight. Um, and this this is a little bit worse than uh, the the Rice Lake Police in Wisconsin. Um, I mean, at least with cops, you know, when they don't like you, they'll make it clear <laughs> by giving you, they'll give you tickets and stuff. They won't threaten you with your life and, and trying to, you know, track you down. You know, this could be some kind of private investigator, private investigator slash hitman or something. Um, so. And um, seeing, you know, what else could happen, you know, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta always maintain a, a sense of alertness, but not, not too much where I go paranoid, because uh, you know it could be, it could be months later before they, you know, they, they get me or whatever. So I, I just can't, I can't uh, relax on, you know, my activities. Uh, and I haven't really, I haven't really been able, I haven't been given uh, much of a chance to relax for the past two years. I've been, I've been hiding in, in the cities, in the, in the um, populated areas for two years, just parking here and there and stuff. It's, it's, it's like, it's just an added, you know, a little extra um, bonus challenge uh, to now have to hide from a pursuer as well until I you know figure out what's going on that's it that's it's the boring life of a homeless guy